You can create a polyline as a series of straight line segments. To start the command, click the Polyline tool, which is located in the Draw panel on the Home ribbon tab. When I start the command, AutoCAD prompts me, both at the command line and with dynamic input enabled at the cursor, to specify a starting point. This is very similar to the line command. I'll pick a point where I want to start and then move my cursor. I can use any of the drawing aids to help me create the geometry. In this case, I'll make sure that the polar tracking, object snap, and object snap tracking are all enabled. Notice that in the command window, AutoCAD prompts me for the next point, and as I move the cursor, I can see that polar tracking has snapped the line to a horizontal orientation, and I can also use direct distance entry if I wish to specify the length of the polyline segment. I'll click to specify the endpoint. AutoCAD draws that polyline segment and immediately prompts me to specify the next point. Again, I can simply click to select that point or use other methods. As soon as I pick the point, the prompt repeats. Again, I'll click to select a point. Notice that one of the command options is undo. If I pick the wrong point, I can type U or right click and choose the undo option to remove the last polyline segment I created. This time, I'll use object snap tracking to find the midpoint of the first line segment so that I can make this segment half its length. Then I'll draw more polyline segments. And now, let's use object snap tracking again to find the end point of the first line segment, and then track from that point. Now to create the final line segment, I'll use the close option. When creating a closed polyline shape, don't draw the final polyline segment you should always use the Close option. So I'll right-click and choose Close from the shortcut menu. And notice that now, when I move the cursor over the object, the entire object highlights because it has been created as a single polyline object.